Hi, my name is Dustin Jaiwardhana and I'm standing next to this beautiful 1958 Volvo PV444. This car features a 1600cc four-cylinder single carb engine and this is Volvo's first ever unibody car so as you can see it has a split windscreen. This is, uh, at the time Volvo didn't actually make any right-hand vehicles so as you can see this is also a left-hand car. Just a little bit about the history of this car. Um, this is one of two cars that were imported and I believe this is the only survivor. Um, this was actually a single owner car and was owned for over 50 years by a doctor in Puruita until acquired by my father about 10 years ago. And when it was purchased, um, it was in great mechanical condition, but it needed a little bit of a cosmetic restoration, so it was painted um, this green color, and uh, I think before that it was a ivory color. Even after selling this car, the doctor um, was, felt very connected to it. In fact, after he sold the car, he still kept in touch to uh, check upon his car and make sure everything was okay. Um, and he also requested that it be used for his granddaughter's wedding. So there's a lot of sentimental value to this car and um, there's a lot of history in Sri Lanka with this car. To anyone looking to get into classic cars, especially if you're young, like myself, I would say your first starting point should be maybe speaking to like your parents or an aunt or an uncle or somebody who's actually grown up with these cars and seen them as a kid. I think that's a really good place to start because they would have a lot of experience in driving them, being around them, they'd be very knowledgeable about these cars in general. And I also think uh, another great starting point is to actually get involved in a restoration, try to find out where these cars are and how they're, what state they're currently in and maybe try to find out um, a bit about the internal workings of cars like this. I think that would be really useful. Although this is a left-hand car, um, and although it's looking really old, it keeps up very well with modern-day Colombo traffic. So yeah, I think it's something that, is, that, that should definitely be appreciated by more people in this generation.